Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, you like my ode to Yasudiru Ozu? So, dressing up like a director to talk about uh, producing. I thought I would respond to low budget visions on producing. So, uh, I thought it was a really great video. He talked about um, the process of producing different films as a filmmaker and how a lot of people don't really give, uh, I guess, and I want to say props, but I guess I guess people don't really understand what a producer does. And I think this is obviously quite true for people outside of um, filmmaking. You know, I think people outside of filmmaking just think, you know, the Hollywood image of the guy with a cigar going, oh, I'm going to make you a star. And that's about it, you know. And inside the filmmaking industry, I think, I think people don't really know what it is either. Um, you know, I've talked to uh, Academy Award winning producer and basically they say that a producer is someone who puts out fires, which uh, ha having produced quite a lot of things for myself and a few things for other people, that, that's basically what they do um, or what we do is put out fires or make things happen. Um, the way I like to think of it is like if the script writer or the script is like the embryo and the director is like the father and then the, the producer is like the mother. So basically in, during the development stage you're nurturing and then during the production phase you know, you're right there with the director. Basically making sure things happen. That's a producer produces. It, you know, it, if a director says, I want this, you're the, it's really your job to make sure it happens. And then once a director moves on to the next project, a producer's job is to keep interest alive in that movie. Like you, you, you are, I mean, depending on how long the script took to get written, quite often the producer is the person who stays with the movie the longest. Um, if you break down individual credits, I mean, if, if you look at my credit history, you know, I mean, I, I've done roughly the same thing on every project that got, I've gotten credited from everything from a general dog's body to, you know, producer. So basically, an executive producer, they're the ones with the money. An assistant producer, or well, basically, the, the main producer, that's the person who's making it, like, you know, making sure that it gets made. And this could be from a more executive position, or this could be from a more, like, you know, hands-on position. Um, the more, the on-set producer is a line producer, um... And then you've got an associate producer, which is unfortunately sometimes called the girlfriend credit, um, which is basically like someone who has helped you. It's a step up from a thank you credit, basically. It's someone who's helped you make the film in, in a small but significant way. Um, so this, this is from feature films. It's obviously different for um, TV shows because often... Uh, like in a sitcom, in a writer's room, uh, each writer is credited as a producer in the writer's room, and then the person who officially wrote the script is then credited as the script writer. Um, and then the executive producer is the head writer or the showrunner. So that, that that's a little bit different, and... <laughs> Are you confused? <laughs> because it's good. It, it is confusing. Um, but uh, I, I would just like to basically wrap it up and just say, like, the way to think about a producer is someone who helps a film get made. Now, you know, whether that is, like, 
you know, you're, you're involved in the casting, whether that's in script development. Like I was mostly in script development and basically sort of a, a kind of a mentor on um, Impossible to Imagine. Whereas, like a lot on a lot of my own projects, um, you know, I, I've been, you know, my own producer, and then, uh, you know, and then for some other people's projects, it's just sort of, you know, help, helping give that push to make sure that the the film gets made and that it also gets made within budget. Like, you know, your your job is to also manage expectations, so. If you've got a director, even if they're bringing their own money, it's like, well, hey, you know, you've got this much time, you've got this much money. I'm sorry, this is not going to happen. Like, you, you're the one who has to, you're the one who's got to say, you know, those, those things. Um, but then on set, I've found that, you know, well, the, that's why I say, like, you know, f kind of father, mother things. Like, the director can be like, you know, don't do this. And then the actors might, you know, rush to the producer and say, like, oh, the director told me, blah, blah, blah. And so you're sort of in that mother position. So, you know, if you if you want to if you want to be a producer, make sure you're, you know, synchronized or mind melded with the director. And the director is someone that you trust, you know. I have made a film with someone that I didn't particularly trust and it's not on my resume for reasons uh, kind of Alan Smithy Smithy that job because um, you know we, we weren't we weren't synchronized you know so you know I, I think it's for anyone who's listening if you're a writer and you're looking for a producer um, you know, usually when people are looking at producers, what they're really looking for is money. Um, so just be aware that if someone is a producer, you know, you know maybe their, their expertise is getting the film made. It may not actually be, you know, raising funds. Um, so just, just be aware of what you're looking for and what you're asking the person. And also be, be aware that, that what you're asking that person is for a, a few years of their life because, you know, no matter how big the project is, a, a producer, a good producer is, you know, is going to nurture that project, you know, from, from woe to go. You know, they're going to nurture it, you know, far beyond, you know, what the director or the filmmaker will do because you know sometimes filmmakers will go up and down so you know like they're confident in the project and they're not confident and so you, again you just got to be that support system to keep pushing them um so you know, that's that's kind of my thoughts on being a producer i enjoy it it's fun being able to get things made um some days it's not that fun, but, you know, I, I've learned a lot from each project and, uh, you know, get in touch if you'd like to work with me. Bye-bye.